What is up everybody? It's your girl Jada Reese here aka Diamond and we're here to do another review. Today we're going to be reviewing Trust by Hernan Diaz. But first, if this is your first time seeing my face or knowing of my existence, my name is Diamond, AKA Jaded Reads. And on this channel, I like to talk about books. I like to do reading vlogs, reading reviews, and everything in between as it relates to reading and books. And also sharing a little bit of myself and my personality and the day-to-day -day motions here in this world, here on earth. And if you are interested in things of that nature, if you wanna be friends, you should go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you can know whenever I upload. Also, if you haven't noticed, I really like to interact. So if ever you feel behooved to make a comment, just know I will respond to that comment, okay? I'll get to it. 24, within 24 to 48 hours. So let's talk about books, right? Trust by Hernan Diaz was published in 2022. It was shortlisted, sorry, it was long listed for the Man Booker Prize in 2022. It won the uh, Pulitzer Prize for Fiction along with Demon Copperhead um, in 2023. And it's a really, really good tale, a really good novel. It's really exciting, it's really evocative, it's a page turner, and honestly, you learn a lot from it. So let's go ahead and get into it. So it, on the surface, when you first open up the novel, it's a novel, right? The first part says a novel, literally. What is that? Yeah, a novel. What's it say? One. Yeah, it says Bonds. A novel. <sighs> so when you first start the novel, it opens up and it talks about Benjamin Rask and the amassment of this huge amount of money that is unseen, unheard of from everybody around. And this he's very eccentric, or no, he doesn't want to be eccentric, but because he's so um, hidden and ducked off from everybody else, he seems to appear eccentric until he meets his wife, Helen who is the daughter of old money, old New York, and her parents are very eccentric, and they are actually in sort of a precarious type of situation uh, at the start of the novel. And so they come in, they meet each other, and then it talks about their lifestyle, the riches, the parties, the music, and ultimately the death of um, Helen. Now that is just on the surface. That is just the first about 75 to 90 pages of the novel. And then you get to thinking like, okay, you know, this is cool, but it's nothing spectacular. What is everybody else talking about? I'm sensing, I want the amazement that is trust that everyone is speaking of. But as a reader, of course, you know, you have to continue on reading. So then, put it right here. So then what, what ultimately happens is you go into a completely different narrative and this is where the review is going to start. So. Trust tells the story of a wealthy financier who amassed a gigantic fortune from the stock market in the 1930s. It seems like a linear American short story of the tale of wealth and capitalism we all are privy to in this day and age. But what is hidden is the one true narrative. That's what I want to get into. So I'm, I'm reading off of a teleprompter, you guys. I am working on my memory. Bear with me. All right, so Hernan Diaz splits this novel into four categories. You have the novel, you have uh, unfinished manuscript, you have a memoir, and then you have diary at the end. Um, I describe this story as like being on a wild goose chase for the truth because once you think you know what's going on, Hernan pulls the rug right from underneath you and exposes you to a whole new realm, a whole new world, and a whole new way of thinking and reading. And that's why I love the novel so much. So I want to go ahead and talk about how hidden within the lines of this tale is a simple question. Whose story is being amplified and whose story is being silenced? I wanna go into a quote. I think of my father who would always say that every dollar bill had been printed on paper, ripped off a slave's bill of sale. I can still hear him today. Where does all this wealth here come from? Primitive accumulation. The original theft of land, means of production, and human lives. All throughout history, the origin of capital has been slavery. What Diaz is doing in this novel is offering intricate descriptions of the same story with erasures woven neatly throughout each time, each one, each story. 
The pieces are precisely put together once you make it into the portion that is the diary, but you have to make it to the diary. All right, so trust, it's extremely well written. As basic as that sounds, I'm not here to express my elaborate vocabulary and sell this novel to you. I just wanna just speak from the lens of a, a young 30 something woman who likes to read books and from time to time she sounds very educated. But just to put it plainly, it's just a very well written novel. Um, there are so many different ways and aspects you can look at this. I read a few reviews and honestly, none of them speaks to the, the quote that that I um, that I chose to bring out. So with that quote, it's of course going into uh, someone speaking. It sounds like a Marxist sort of person, or it sounds like someone who is basically for the good of all people and not just the one percent of the wealthy. And so that tells a story of, or that that person that was speaking from that perspective is a great example of the juxtaposition of poverty and wealth that is presented in the novel and how. Perspective is, ex is essential when you are talking about the wealthy people and how they choose on purpose to hide a lot of how they gained all of this fortune. It's purposefully done because they want to seem like a, like a type of people who are holier than thou, who are extremely smart, who are extremely witty and, and very calculated in the way that they move and the way that they have gained or amassed all this money. But that's, that's just completely not true. It's either stolen, um, it's either done through trickery, through treachery, through games. Um, a lot of times, a lot of people slip up, slip and fall into, into wealth. It's not something that is just like worked at. You know, if anything, what this story kind of tells you is that <laughs> a lot of the wealthy, a lot of the rich, a lot of the elite are thieves among everything and they steal from you in blind sight or they are reliant upon so many different other people who can help them gain those or who can help them gain wealth I mean or gain wealth um, and I really I really enjoyed the way um, Hernan Diaz told the story um, like I said in hindsight it just seems like a simple rag not even rags to, to riches because Bevel was born into wealth his father owned a prominent uh, cigar company that was based in Cuba and he was very rich and left with money. His parents died very young, but you still get the sense that Andrew is hiding something. Like he's even hiding how his father amassed his wealth. He's hiding a lot of bits and pieces about his wife, Mildred. Um, it's, it's just a lot of, of erasing of the truth. It's a lot of editing out what's real. Um, it, it, it's just, it's really well done. Basically, it's all I'm trying to say. The, the story is extremely well done and you have to go into trust with an open mind to receive all that um, Ernan Diaz wanted you, wanted you to receive because on the surface, it's not, um, it's not something that's as extraordinary as people seem, as people think it is. I read this novel um, leading up to uh, Christmas. Um, I read this novel. It took me about 48 hours to get through the novel and and I still I'm still thinking about it. Like I'm still thinking about it. I said, okay, you know what? I really want to sit down and just talk about this book for a few minutes because it's really heavy on my mind. And I loved it. I loved it so much. And so I just wanted to come and share just a few thoughts and a few quotes and opinions about the story and let you guys know that it is worth the read if you want to sit down with it. Not because it won the Pulitzer Prize, but because it's just great, great fiction. Um, and it's it's what it um Roxane Gay said that it's sublime. It's truly sublime. And it is. And once you get to the diary portion, I really want to talk about that piece, but I don't want to in case someone does decide to take my advice from this video and read it. But I'm reading, I'm currently reading The Bell Jar uh, by Sylvia Plath. And there's so many um, references to The Bell Jar once you get to that part. Um, and, and, and I'm just like, 
only reason why I'm realizing it now is because I've picked up the bell jar and I'm thinking about the things that were said in that diary portion or the things that were written or the perspective in which we are receiving the thoughts of the person who is writing that piece. That person has been erased from almost the entire novel purposefully because of facts that her that that this person didn't want to reveal and so it just brings me back to the place where i was thinking wow ernan diaz really did his homework he really did his research and it seems like he really understands the mindset or mind frame of a brilliant um a brilliant mind of a woman and how women are just as important if not the most important pieces of history um and that's all that i want to say about the novel i think you should pick it up it's a wonderful wonderful read and it's it deserved all of the praise that it got when it got it and that's all i want to say so if you read trust if you have read trust if you enjoy trust if you have a different perspective about trust by Hernan Diaz let's talk about it in the comments don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like this video and come back for more I'll see you in my next upload it's Jaded Reads